please. Are you alright? No, those fucking physicists. What happened? Thanks a lot for leaving me alone with them. They were your friends. My stupid friends. Left. <laughs> I want to get home and pay their babysitter, bake bread, or something. God, I'm left alone with these lunatics. Mm. Why'd you drink so much? Mm-hmm. Thought he could keep up. I thought they'd stop. They didn't. God, have another tequila. Oh. You want some coffee? In a minute. That band. Yeah. They were terrible. They were okay. Yeah, they had fun. <laughs> Wait, mom, if everybody had fun. You're dressed in a bar, right? I love it. You do? Yeah. It's wonderful. I was surprised you even wore it. I love it, Claire. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. You're in a good mood. Should I not be? No, are you kidding? I'm thrilled. I leave in a few hours. I know. Hey, come on. The house is a wreck. Don't try to clean up yourself. I will hire someone to come in. Thanks. Uh, do I have a coffee now? No, thanks. Are you sure it's just my Hey, go hold on a second. Hey. It's just I leave so soon. You said no. I'd still like you to come to New York. Yes. Yeah, maybe. I'd like you to move to New York. Move? Would you consider it? Just for me? I mean, you could stay with me and Mitch at first. There's plenty of room, and then we could get you your own apartment. I I, what would I do in New York? What are you doing here? I live here. You could do whatever you wanted. You could go back to school. You could get a job. I don't know, Claire. I, it's just it's been major. I realize that. I just, uh, I know you mean well. I just, I mean, you are right yesterday. The past couple of years have been kind of weird. And I'm tired. I'm out of it. I think I'd just like some time to figure things out. You could do that in New York. And I could do that here. It would be so much easier for me to get you set up in an apartment in New I York. I don't today. need an apartment. I have the house. I'm selling the house. What? I'm selling the house. When? I was hoping to get the paperwork done sometime this week. I know it seems really sudden. No one was here looking at the house. Who are you selling it to? The university? They've wanted the block for years. But I live here. Honey, now that dad's gone, it just doesn't make sense to hold on to it. It's time to let it go. This place is a mess and it costs a fortune to heat. Mitch agrees. Oh. It's a very smart move. We're lucky to have such a great offer. Where am I supposed to live? Come to New York. Oh, I... I can't believe this. Oh. It would be so good for you. You need a new adventure. Why are you doing this? I want to help. By kicking me out of the house. This was my house, too. Oh, you haven't lived here for years. Don't. I realize that. And I really regret that, Katie. Don't. Don't. Eat. I know. I let you down. And I feel awful now. I'm just trying to help. But you want to help? Yes. Dad is dead. I know. Yeah, and the dad is dead. Now that he said you, you want to fly in for the weekend and say that you want to help, you're late. Where, where have you been? I, I where was, were you five years ago? You didn't want to help then. I was working. I was living here with him alone. I was working 14 hour days. I paid every bill here. I paid off the mortgage on this three bedroom house while I was living in his studio in Brooklyn. But you got to live your life. You couldn't go to school. I told you you could go back to school. How? I would have done anything. You could have done whatever you wanted. Somebody had to take care of him. He was ill. He belonged in a full-time professional care situation. <laughs> he did not belong in the nut house. He might have been better off. How could you say that? This is the part where I'm supposed to feel guilty, right? Oh, sure. Yeah, go for it. I'm heartless. My own father. He needed to be here in his home, near the university, near his students, near everything that made him happy. Maybe. Or maybe being in a full-time professional care situation would have done him more good than rattling around in a filthy house with you taking care of him. I am sorry, Catherine. It's not your fault. It's my fault for letting you do it. I was right to keep him here. No. Well, what about 40 years ago? Remember, he, he was healthy for, in remission for almost a year. And then he went right back downhill again. He might have been worse in a hospital. 
and he might have been better. Did he ever do any work again? No. No. And you might have been better. Better than what? Living here with him didn't do you any good. You said that yourself. You had so much talent. I didn't think I liked it. I think that you have some of his talent and some of his tendency towards incivility. Claire, in addition to the super cute apartment that you scouted me in New York, might you might have used some of your considerable energy no. for scouting another no. type of living situation for your bughead little sister? No, absolutely not. That is not what this is about. Yeah, and don't mind me, Claire. I'm smarter than you. The resources. I've investigated. Oh my god! In, in New York, the doctors are the no, best. And the no, people, fuck you! You wouldn't even have to live anywhere. They can I hate you! Don't yell. Please calm down. I 